Oh my god, my life is over. What is wrong? Can I help you? No, nobody can fix this. Chip Kravick is our new congressional representative. He is a Republican. He will send us back into the Stone Ages. Wow. That is pretty prejudiced. You do know he hasn't even been sworn into office yet? Why are you so worried? He is a Tea Party extremist. He is going to take all of the money and jobs out of the 8th Congressional District and give it to big corporations. Really? He has never claimed to be a member of the Tea Party. How do you figure that? He is a Republican. Do you not realize that the Tea Party doesn't associate themselves with a political party? They are a completely independent organization. Yes, but it is just a big conspiracy to take money from regular people and give it to all of their rich friends. That is absolutely absurd. The foundation of his campaign was to bring jobs back to the district and help small business owners, wasn't it? Yes, but those were all lies. He just said that to get elected. Republicans hate the working man. He will be a servant to all of his fat cat friends in Washington. What? What fat cat friends are you talking about? You know he was a stay-at-home dad for the last two years, right? I don't care. He has never run for political office before. I don't care. His campaign staff were all volunteers. I don't care. He drove a damn RV from the 1980s around the district for five months. I don't care. He was a union steward and walked the picket lines with other pilots at Northwest Airlines. I don't care. His highest campaign contribution was $6,644. I don't care. The majority of his campaign donations came from within his own district. I don't care. Chip Kravick has already sold us out to the special interests. Oh, really? I can't wait to hear this. He accepted $7,000 from people associated with Toby's restaurant. How is a small business located in the middle of his district a special interest? They paid him off to scrap the high-speed rail line between Duluth and the Twin Cities. He is just as corrupt as the rest of the Republicans. You have got to be kidding me. That makes no sense. Wouldn't those individuals that donated to his campaign actually benefit from a high-speed rail line? A stop in Hinckley would bring more customers and increase their business. Didn't Jim Oberstar accept $21,000 from the United Transportation Union, $20,000 from the Teamsters Union, and $20,000 from the Airline Pilots Association? Yes, but unions represent the working man. Sure, just keep telling yourself that. He also accepted $150,000 from construction companies in addition to the $187,000 from transportation unions. How do you feel about that? He was chair of the Transportation and Infrastructure Committee. He supports legislation that creates jobs for them and gives them more money. Is that not the definition of corruption? Um, well, I... That is exactly why Minnesotans fired Jim Oberstar. He was out of touch and catered to special interest groups. Chip Kravick is not going to allow any development in our district. Really? How do you know he will do that? He doesn't want to spend any money. Actually, Chip Kravick has said he will support projects that are needs. He said we don't have money to fund things that we just want. In Soviet Russia, I mean, Minnesota, we need more bike trails. Chip Kravick said he will not fund them. Why the hell do we need a bike trail that goes from Canada all the way down to the Twin Cities? Do you know anyone who even rides their bike that far? No, but bikes are good for the environment. He will also take all of the jobs out of the Iron Range. Actually, that was Jim Oberstar. He proposed a Clean Water and Restoration Act which would have killed the mining industry. He also supported cap-and-trade policies that would make it nearly impossible for mines to make a profit due to high energy prices and they would have to shut down. But we need a cap-and-trade to stop the global warming. Chip Kravick wants the ice caps to melt. He wants all of the poor people to drown in the floods from melting ice caps. You have got to be kidding me. Hide your kids and hide your wives. He gonna take everybody's stuff out here. You are so dumb, for real. He also lives in Lindstrom, that is barely in the 8th Congressional District and too far away from the Iron Range he does not understand what we need. Oh really? Do you know where Jim Oberstar lives? Jim Oberstar lives in Chisholm. That is why he can represent the Iron Range so well. He has lived there all of his life. 
No, Jim Mulber star actually lives in Potomac, Maryland. That is a rotten lie. No, it is not. He even gets his St. Louis County tax bill sent there. It doesn't matter. He did great work for our district. Oh, so now it doesn't matter? That is convenient. What has he done recently that has benefited the 8th Congressional District? He voted for the stimulus bill. That certainly has been effective. He voted for health care reform. That was a good one. He voted to bail out the auto industry. Sure do like government motors. He voted for a timetable to withdraw our troops from Iraq. It really was a good idea. He got bike lanes in Washington, D.C. Certainly good for us in the 8th. He voted for cap and trade. I see. See, you thought you were going to stump me, didn't you? No, I just wanted you to list some more reasons why people did not vote for Jim Oberstar. Oh, damn. Maybe instead of putting all of this energy into complaining about what hasn't even happened yet, you should actually look at what Chip Kravick actually plans to do. Why? Everything I need to know is on this card I got from my union. Oh, my, God. Just come with me. You have nothing to lose but your chains. I cannot take this anymore, there is no hope for you. I have to go, this is just too much, goodbye. Jim Oberstar is great, he is a true hometown boy, just like Don Ness. I'm so lonely.